So you've just finished Terraria, and your character is the strongest they can possibly be, right? Well, perhaps not. As thanks to a relatively hidden feature added in 1.4.4, the Labor of Love update, there are actually a bunch of items you can gather throughout the game, which when consumed, will provide permanent stat and quality of life buffs to your character that'll be with you till the very end. Today, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of these and what you need to do to obtain them. Before we dive into it though, we're now only 3k subs away from hitting the big 150k. So close. So if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and help support the channel. Alrighty, let's kick things off shall we? I think the main reason why so many of these perma buffs are missed is because most require the elusive shimmer liquid to obtain, which even now a year later, not many people have in their main world. If you are on a new world though, the easiest way to find your aether biome is by digging straight down just before your ocean on the side of the world with your jungle biome. Now, let me tell you, early game this will take some time, but I guarantee it'll be well worth it in the end. With your shimmer pool found, let's jump into these buffs. First up, we have the Vital Crystal, by far one of the best perma buffs in the game. Not only does this thing only require a simple life crystal, which can be found underground early game, but its buff potential is huge. Once consumed, your character will benefit from 20% increased life regen, which while not game changing early game, makes a massive difference with accessories like the shiny stone, increasing your life regen by another 8 points free of charge. Next up we have the Arcane Crystal, another one to go for in the early game. This one's just a no-brainer for any mage, simply requiring you to throw a single mana stein to shimmer, which can be obtained in the first few nights of playing. When consumed, you'll benefit from a 5% reduced delay between using mana and mana regen starting. Pretty neat. Next up we have the Aegis Fruit, 7k little litter game that's still totally worth getting, simply requiring a single life fruit to be thrown into shimmer. When consumed, your character will benefit from a flat defense increase of 4, which although doesn't sound like much, all adds up, especially when it requires no access slot or placeable, a must have for any class. Next up we have Ambrosia, potentially the earliest obtainable perma buff in the game, very simply requiring any fruit to be shimmered, which can be obtained in the first few minutes of playing by knocking down trees. Despite its simplicity, the buffs this thing offers are actually some of the best, giving the player a 5% increased tile placement speed and 5% mining speed. Who would say no to that? Next up we have the Gummy Worm, potentially the rarest perma buff of today's picks, requiring a, brace for it, golden worm to be shimmered. I honestly think I've come across maybe two or three of these since they were introduced, so I suppose all I can say is, good luck. Don't worry if you miss this one though, as when consumed, the player will receive a permanent additional free fishing power, which although is nice, is definitely not worth the effort. And keeping with the rare theme, next up we have the Galaxy Pearl, requiring you to fish up oysters from an oasis biome and hope you get a pink pearl, which I had absolutely no trouble with here. Once shimmered and consumed, the pearl will permanently increase your luck by 0.03, which is actually a big deal, increasing the odds of drops like the Rod of Discord ever so slightly. Not too bad. And last but not least, we have the Peddler's Satchel. Now, while this may not be a stat buff, it can be of significant help to any player if obtained early, requiring you to murder your travelling merchant and throw his hat into shimmer. When consumed, the travelling merchant's stock capacity will be increased by 1, increasing the odds you'll find useful items throughout your playthrough. Definitely worth getting. And with this, that's all the perma buffs I want to show off today. So if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend going for these items as early as possible, as when all combined, can provide some massive benefit to your character. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.